Hey guys, Harry Thomas here, and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my uh, top five least anticipated movies of 2021. Uh, just like my uh, top five most anticipated movies of 2021 list. Uh, one or two uh, movies that were on my least anticipated for 2020 were pushed back to this year, so two of those movies will be appearing on this list, so sorry if this video feels just like that video all over again, but uh, but it but it can't be helped uh, uh, due to the studio's decision to delay them. Uh, but uh, yeah, sadly, 2021 does not look like a good year for animation, my favourite genre of film. But uh, but uh, uh, but I I will uh, 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 hope for the best for uh, Raya and the Last Dragon and Luca at least. So without further ado, if you want to know my top five least anticipated movies of 2021, then just keep watching. At number five, m a most peculiar choice, I know, but Clifford the Big Red Dog, the live-action uh, movie adaptation of the uh, hand-drawn animated cartoon TV show. But, uh, but that TV show was right to be animated. I mean, there is no reason for a Clifford movie to be live action. Uh, I mean, I know you're all asking, Harry, how come you're anticipating the Tom and Jerry uh, movie over this? At least that movie looks a little more fun and, and more true to the spirit of Tom and Jerry than the 1992 movie. At least Tom and Jerry don't talk in that trailer, but uh, yeah, I mean, there's only a, a, a brief 10-second teaser for Clifford the Big Red Dog right now, and God, uh, Cl Clifford uh, just looks atrocious in as in his, in his CGI uh, form, and, and I read the plot synopsis, and it sounds like uh, uh, Emily, Elizabeth, and Clifford are going to be, you know, evading these uh, scientists who want to experiment on supersized animals in New York. I don't remember the original show taking place in New York whatsoever, and those scientists had not had, had were, were never in the show, so. And, and and they sound like the most cliched of villains that you could possibly put into a family movie. So yeah, Clifford the Big Red Dog, at least it's not a Disney live-action remake, but it could be a um, live-action adaptation of a cartoon that uh, makes my blood boil and my face uh, go red with rage. At number four, Hotel Transylvania 4. Please stop with the Hotel Transylvania movies already. I mean, I mean, uh, I mean, three was uh, the worst of the lot. Uh, but uh, I mean, uh, I mean, but four? Come on! This franchise is transforming into a vampire that instead of sucks blood, it sucks uh, money. That's what it's thriving on now. Instead of good storytelling, and I have never liked the Hotel Transylvania movies, not even the first one. Uh, I mean, uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm sure you all know I'm not uh, particularly looking forward to Matrix 4 or Mission Impossible 7 either, and and I pray Mission Impossible 7 doesn't have, doesn't, uh, doesn't, uh, 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 take away the success of uh, No Time to Die, but uh, at least uh, they could be okay at best. But Hotel Transylvania 4, yeah, I, I, I uh, do not uh, see any reason for this movie to exist. At number three, Minions 2 Rise of Gru. Why couldn't you have just uh, uh, released this movie on streaming illumination? Uh, Illumination have never made a a great animated movie, not even the first Despicable Me, and that's still their best movie. But that doesn't mean it's a masterpiece. Uh, but uh, but 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 Illumination just simply cannot let go of of Despicable Me franchise. You know, it's becoming the curse of Illumination, just like how how Ice Age uh, severely went downhill because Blue Sky held on to it for, for far too long. And uh, yeah, I just, uh, 
I just wanted to bash my head into a, a brick wall when I found out I would I would have to sit through uh, this movie in 2021 rather than just sitting it through last year and uh, getting it over with. I I I have no idea uh, uh, what uh, the plot's going to be, but it's just going to be you know the minions getting up to some uh, unfunny shenanigans. It's going to be a prequel uh, to to a uh, Gru's uh, ba backstory, uh, which uh, we we don't need to see. You know, you know that's the problem with prequels. We know how Gru is going to turn out, so there's going to be no uh, suspense or unpredictability to this movie. At number two, Peter Rabbit two, The Runaway. Could I mean, Sony could not be disrespecting Beatrix Potter's a beautiful book set any further. I mean, I mean, looking at the trailer, it looks like it's going to have zero uh, percent nothing to do with a uh, Beatrix Potter's a books or whatsoever. It, you know, it's just going to be a uh, uh, McGregor and uh, his girlfriend uh, from the last movie getting married and. Peter and friends going on a road trip with them, and oh god, I mean, I mean, what, what happened to the tale of Benjamin Bunny? That's supposed to be the sequel to Peter Rabbit if you've read the books. Sony, don't you get it? We want a Into the Spider Verse sequel, not a Peter Rabbit sequel. And my number one least anticipated movie of 2021 is You All Called It The Boss Baby Family Business. Dreamworks, I, 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 the fact that you made a sequel to The Boss Baby, your worst movie by far, and not Rise of the Guardians or Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron is 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 an insult. In fact, in fact, where's Madagascar 4? You promised us that movie in 2018 and you broke your promise when it never came, yet you made Boss Baby 2 uh, a, a reality. Uh, yeah, uh, I, 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 I uh, saw the trailer for Boss Baby 2 Family Business and that trailer was uh, absolutely uh, Disgusting. It uh, the, so turns out uh, the the boss baby uh, uh, Tim Templeton's adopted brother is back and uh, and Tim is now a father to his daughter and uh, and they and they both turn into babies this time and do they're going up against this uh, evil scientist that looks like Professor Pooby Pants from Captain Underpants. Uh, we, that movie is uh, surprisingly. Um, you know, uh, more more intelligent than than uh, than Boss Baby, but so uh, yeah, yeah, Boss Baby Two Family Business is the most unneeded, unasked for a uh, DreamWorks sequel and movie period, and it could be even worse than its predecessor. Yeah, this the I am I am guarantee you I I am gonna say I told you so. This is going to be the point where DreamWorks have run themselves into the ground entirely and they can uh, go a uh, no uh, further. Uh, uh, I uh, um, am now uh, looking forward to Crudes to a New Age uh, even more. At least uh, that uh, movie could, could be enjoyable in comparison to this. So yeah, uh, it's not even close. I am proud to call Boss Baby 2 Family Business my least anticipated a movie of 2021. So that was my top five least anticipated movies of 2021. Yeah, uh, boy, do these movies look ugly. Uh, well, well, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this uh, list. And uh, what are your top five least anticipated movies for 2021? Uh, please comment and let me know. Please like this video and subscribe. Uh, please uh, follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. And I'll see you next time when I review 101 Dalmatians, the 1961 Disney animated classic to celebrate its 60th anniversary and remember movies are us bye guys